Hey everybody, Melissa here, the Unlikely Hiker. I hope everyone is doing really good. Today I thought I would talk about some camping and backpacking gadgets that might add a little bit of fun or flair to your next trip. These are all things that I use frequently out on the trail and also while I'm car camping. So let's dive right in. The first thing I have I got last year and decided to take down to the Smokies with me on a group trip, ultralight backpacking string lights. They weigh about an ounce and a half and it's 30 feet of fairy lights on a copper wire. I'm not gonna unwind the whole thing, but you get the gist here. Multicolor lights, they also come in single color white and they're just a lot of fun. For an ounce and a half, you're gonna add quite a bit of flare to your campsite or your tent. I've hung these both in a tent and also around a campsite. They run only off of USB, so probably something you're already carrying with you. And my Anchor charger is a multi-port, so I can run this as well as charge other devices all at the same time. So this is really fun for me to bring in. It's definitely not something that I would bring on every trip, but for a lot of trips, it's a lot of fun, especially if I'm solo camping and it's the cooler months and the sun goes down a little sooner and I'm not ready to go to bed. These things just really warm up your campsite and just bring a little joy, you know, into the backcountry. Following the same theme of lighting, this is something that a very good friend, my partner in crime, got for me a handful of years ago. This is the Crush Light by Goal Zero. Now it, it normally has a handle on here, but I have loved the crap out of this so much that um, I broke the handle and then I fixed it and it fell off. I have bought another one of these because it is so wonderful. It has three light settings, high, medium, and low. Low is five lumens and it's really great. I'll leave this in the trailer on all night long just to give a little bit of light um, especially, you know, in those winter months again, when I'm, you know, parking lot camping at a ski resort. I'll have to check and see how much this weighs, but I have taken it backpacking before just because it offers some really nice light. The battery on here lasts a long time. It is um, micro USB rechargeable and solar rechargeable. So yeah, I just love this thing. This is a wonderful piece of gear and also this is a wonderful piece of emergency gear you know something like this that you can stash in your house in case of a power outage it, it does cast a really beautiful light at night this also comes in a multicolor option um, that was a little bit less attractive to me but this white one is fantastic the third thing is something that i got recently because i was tired of carrying around a bunch of cords for all of my devices. Not everything I have is USB-C rechargeable yet. I'm trying to move in that direction. However, I do have an iPhone and mine has the lightning charger, lightning port charger. So I still need multiple cords. So I got one of these little fob kits and it's USB-C and then it has all the little extra fobs on it for micro USB, lightning, and yeah, that's it. It's got those three. It also has a USB-A adapter to it that one of the USB-C sides could go into. And it's also got some slots in here for SD cards if you need that. The little pin that takes out the card for your phone. And it also has a short cord in here. This is only about a foot long it's long enough for my uses. I don't usually have to charge more than one thing at a time, but if this wasn't long enough, you could just grab your own cord and then just bring the little fobs with you and that would work just fine. Something like this is just gonna really save a lot of space in your electronics bag, especially if you're like me and not everything is gonna run off of one type of cord because I don't usually need to charge things at different times. And with a small amount of planning, you know, you could charge your Garmin at one time or your headlamp at another time, your phone at night, whatever. It doesn't really matter how you decide to do it, but you could get away with just one cord. So the reason I keep everything here in the case is because I will lose everything. 
It also has a mirror, so I can use this for my contact lenses or SOS or whatever, doesn't really matter. And yeah, it just keeps everything nice and compact for me and I know I'm not gonna lose it and I'm not gonna drop it somewhere. I don't know, that probably could happen. I should have got the white one, oh well. But a little kit like this is very useful, especially if you're like me and you need to keep everything together. It does not weigh that much. I don't know how much it weighs. This is something that you could just get on Amazon, get whatever you like or adjust the fobs. It comes in a several different varieties and colors. It also has a little kickstand on here, this particular one. I wonder if that's supposed to be like a phone stand. God, now inquiring minds want to know. I had no idea this could do this. That's a phone stand that's in there. How cool. Look at that. We learned something together. Cool. Now I can stop bringing the phone stand. So yeah, little fobs is going to save you a lot of space with your charging cords in your electronics bag. So something like little fobs is a great thing to carry. It's a great little gadget. Another thing is very popular for people to bring with you. And I kind of didn't see the point up until recently. This is a thermometer. Uh, the Thermalworks one that you can get on Garage Grown Gear, I think is definitely easier to use and probably lighter. This one also measures trends. This one is a Bluetooth one. And I use this in my car, in the trailer, and also when I'm backpacking, this is not waterproof. So I do need to be careful with this but I can track highs and lows and humidity levels and everything like that. So this is just a fun little piece of gear. If I wake up in the morning and I was particularly chilly or too hot, it helps me dial in my gear so I know what to pack next time. And I think that that really is important and goes a long way when you're trying to dial in your kit and only bring the things that you really need. So the longer I backpack, the more I see the need for something else like this. Yeah, it's one more thing to carry. I don't necessarily need to bring it on every trip, but when I start to notice trends because I was carrying this, now it's gonna save me the weight after the fact. So some type of thermometer so you can see the highs and the lows that you experienced in any given condition is going to help you a long way in packing and it's fun to see what the temperatures were too how cold was that really freaking cold right just saying and finally my favorite backpacking gadget is probably everyone's favorite backpacking gadget and that would be the flex tail tiny pump I didn't think I needed anything to help me blow up my sleeping pads for years until I went to Colorado for the first time four years ago and I thought I was actually going to die trying to blow up my sleeping pad. So I decided then to get an inflation sack, which yes, they work. And you can also use it as a stuff sack, the one the particular one that I had, but this is just so much more fun to use. It's quicker, it's, it is double use because it's also a light, but I think most people probably already know that. It's a light, it blows up your sleeping pad, and you can dry your hair with it. Okay. Don't ever let people tell you you can't dry your hair with a tiny pump because... Am I right? And you can even stoke a fire. So these are just a few gadgets that I like to bring out on my adventures with me. Are there any gadgets that you like to bring that I didn't mention here? And if so, what are they? Because I'm always looking for new gadgets. Absolutely. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you found any value in this video, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I do all kinds of videos about gear, tips, tricks, and hacks, and trip videos. And come winter, we will be shifting back into some wintertime videos, probably a little bit of skiing in there, obviously. And I've got a couple other ideas too, but if there's any video ideas, something you'd like me to talk about, please go ahead, drop that in the comment. You can always email me at unlikelyhiker at yahoo.com and give me some ideas. I would love to hear from you. Take care, enjoy yourself, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.